So this one was sent to us by God of Anarchy. And maybe tomorrow, guys, we might do some uh, weird web games. So you can go ahead and put them in the uh, weird web game area. Uh, okay. We're not going to do much of this game. We're just going to look at it today. See ya, Pooh. Also, if the stream suddenly goes offline, it seems like it's going to be storming outside. Let me check. Oh, really quick. I need to go run out and go make sure the garbage don't get uh, wet. I will be right mm -hmm. back. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's okay. We will destroy the stream. Mr. Angry Eyes. Bingo. I was, about to say, I was about to say, like, it, it, it's storming a lot over there, but then I realized that she is in Florida, isn't she? It's a real yeah, that's kind of their default state. Yeah, I remember like a couple of years ago, it was so, so bad, people had to like go to, uh, it was both in Malibu and, uh, what's the other one? Uh... Miami? No, well, Malibu's, you know, in, it... Malibu's in California. Oh yeah, no, yeah, so it was, my, it was Miami and Venice, I think it was, they had to go to yeah. get sands to, to fall the thing. So yeah, the Venice fire. Beach and Miami Beach. Is Venice Beach? No, Venice Beach is in Florida. Indeed. Get gonna get fucked. Gonna get blown away. Yes. As we've all, as we've all like everybody knows in in this this state, like purity is a is a food after all. So, oh god, that's gonna get clipped. And that's something Mike is really into. As nope. we all know. Nope. Yes, yes. Burn it with fire. Lots of fire. Only the fire. That took longer than expected. Sorry. Miko ran outside. Ah. Oh, no. Here we go. It's okay. She ran outside when it started raining. That's fun. Yep. She regretted her decisions. What the fuck is that? Profile error. Uh, That's weird. I've never seen that before. Into your webcam. No, it's something with Damn. this game. Whatever system they're using for it. Damn. Who wants to be the doggo? I thought we weren't doing uh, furries yet. Ruh-ro! <laughs> Welcome to Ryle Town! Rhone Raiding Rim. Rue Rust Row Rancer Rish Rounds Russians Re. Is there a particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? Oh. Rat! That's a meme. Okay, I can't keep doing the R thing, it's killing me. Then just do regular. Alright. Now, if you'd shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Oh, oh right. Anywho, what's your name? I didn't Bone type that in. Bone Gingy? Bone Gingy. Do you want to go with that? I mean, obviously, obviously, we are about to date a dog. We should, of course, be Aurora. No, no, I know. We can call ourselves Nokia. Nokia. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be on ah, yes, the, the famous Finnish shoe shoe company. Really? That's your name? Oh, no, 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 it's something so really sorry. cool. Nope. Don't like that response. You'll live. Anywho, second question. Select so the head. head. 
typewriter head or phone head? Those look oh horrific. Oh god, you're making an abomination. Do you want to be a typewriter or a phone? I feel like a typewriter has better vocabulary, but a phone is better at math. That Pick one, one, that thing is bound in flesh. Yeah. Oh, we're fucked. Well, they both are. Oh, so we're playing from the perspective of Ed Gein. Yep. Yeah. So which one would you prefer? Give me the typewriter. Yeah, he wants, he wants to be a razor head or whatever. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip water. You're a dick dog. Ah, so we should have actually called ourselves Akaba. Sounds... All sales are final. Now, final question. Oh, boy. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Bug. What's, uh, oh, God. <laughs> Why is it just a pug? <laughs> I don't know. Why is it a pug? I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we, we I have, don't we know which to choose. I kind of I mean, want to go we... with gay cyborg because of pup. Yeah, I mean, we, we had so 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 much luck last time let, we played a game with pronouns, didn't we? Let, 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 let's make this as weird as possible. Just go with it. Yeah, or make it your own. Uh, oh, you make him sad. Not sure what to fill in on this line of the questionnaire. Questionnaire, there's no paper. You're just asking me questions. Hold on, i got to fix an audio issue. Oh, boy. There we go. That's Stop doing fun. that. Thank you. Do not question the hound. Warning. NPCs will occasionally refer to you by your species, goblin, where perfect gender neutral equivalent terms are not readily available. This is a shit. This is calling you a goblin. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Thanks, Daddy Doggo. Can I just play the game now? Thanks, Daddy Doggo. What did I say about calling me? I mean, oh, Daddy right, Doggo sounds man. awfully close to Daddy Derek. Get out of my sight, you bitch. You okay. we, we were sent a weird game. Yes, we were. We can play a gay cyborg. Oh my god. I have a feeling they're going to make us fully let's play this thing eventually. Hmm. So they weren't kidding when they said that that, that was your head. There's literally a body in there. You are just. You Sinful are creature. You are I'm feeling head. a little offended. Seems I'm alive again? Oh Hello. my god. Ah, Why do we have John. six nipples? That's a I good question. Know. Why does it look like we had heart surgery? I hate it when I do that. Hmm. My non-specific reproduction organs are firm and ripe. What the fuck am I playing? Must be getting ready to hatch. Time... The time for reproduction is now. What? I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. What? I don't know. Someone paid for us to play this by sending us the game, and not money, unfortunately. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. So much fried dough. I must go to the carnival. Carnival. Oh my. This is weird. Even... Did we start weird web games early? Apparently. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so... You know what? Who wants to be the narrator and I'll play the main? Don't from jump up all at once. Right like, whose perspective are we from right now? But I think the the narrator would be the bottom. He yeah, so just says Ticanivel. Mm -hmm. Must gain entry. Must penetrate defenses of mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator, need lay eggs. Well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it might just work. It just might work.
Greetings, Last ticket buffoon. Two for one? Take a guy. My name is Jerry, but okay, my green acquaintance. Oh, you literally are a goblin. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, goblin fuck? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I feel like I needed arch in here. I simply wish to find a fetid hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats. You know, I feel like he, from the perspective of a goblin, the voice beauty he's doing isn't really fitting. Deal with it. It's, just, it's a cultured be, goblin. Yeah, it be, be a bit, could it do a bit more golem like You want me to do this voice? That's, That's not golem, closer. but okay, let's go with it. That's probably closer. Fine. God, I'm not going to be able to breathe after this. How well, much would that cost? Uh, two. Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero. Why did you even ask then? I don't understand this shit. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. You need money. Ah, oh, shoot. I was so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in that tent next to the playground of the park? Oh no, my cover has been blown! Look, goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender, I'm only telling you this because your stench is just so gonna drive away customers. If I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Valen what? Valentine's Day. Isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but... Don't say that you have eggs today or some other bizarre drivel to that effect. Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Does the sock under my mattress count? Okay, fuck it. I'm cutting to the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options from you before my head combusts. Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Love? What on God's green earth is that? Is this love thing type of feels? I don't really do those, thanks. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Well, sort of. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. I'm gonna get lower just a little bit on my end. I I've never had a platonic ice cream break. Neither have I. It's always been sexual. Very, very sexual. Especially when the guy comes in with the cream. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they'll make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one. Who are in love? If you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can. I don't know. Force them to pay you in like a parasite? I mean, you're green like one. Granted, I'd take a real bastard to... Mission accepted. Oh, well. 
Oh, God fucking hell. My source mate. Oh, God, what have I done? Okay, yeah. Uh, you, you, you go do that. You go do that. Please, for the love of God, just do it away from here. Away from here! <laughs> Did you I have write a feeling like lay, laying, laying eggs is just an allegory for him having to take a shit. I hope not. Should we try it? Okay, fuck it. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's Day? I will call the police, you little freak! Oh. Maybe if if you had the the phone hit instead of the thing, then then maybe that, it, you that that might be the reason. Yeah, I can see that. So maybe you'll run into somebody who has a typewriter for a head. We, we it, got a weird game. That was super oh. stupid. Chapter one: the fun fair date. Oh my god, it's a phone. Another phone. So we actually soft locked ourselves by picking a typewriter, Mike. Yeah, diff different, different They're path. typists in here. Or we are actually going to get a, go on a date and lay our eggs, and it turns out because we were with a phone person, they are going to be like a cell phone head when they come out. Oh, that's just horrifying. I don't want to uh -huh. see a, a, I don't sweet see a with a, I don't want to see a mutant with like a, a fucking iPhone for a head. That's just scary. Have you ever seen a teenager, Mike? Unfortunately, almost every day. To and find a well-functioning member of society less unto like a parasite. You will have yep. to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't I just lay my eggs here? Do I have to? Great stuff! Let's go lay these eggs! Brilliant. Oh. Oh god, I forgot I'm the dog. Oh, yeah. You can bring up the main menu at any point using the escape key, including during NPC dialogue and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something but feel as though it might it might get you arrested. Or killed. What the fuck was that? Also, um, Anarchy, if you could find me the logo for this game and send it to me in a PNG, that would be great. We'll do a full Let's Play if you guys really want. Open menu. You break it. You buy it. Joseph Stalin. What? What? Bingo. No, seriously, what? I love how going out of the pause menu is back to the slaughter then. Leave your tent. What happens if we give up on our love quest? Nokia, what are you doing? I give up. I've had it with the relentless orb we're all stuck on. I have had it with love, egg laying, and everything else. Thank you a ton. You, you can't just give up. You haven't even left the tent. Leave me alone, I'm pregnant and tired. Pathetic. So what if it is? I'm going rogue. I'm going off the grid. Nogia, don't do this. Come on, I bet if you're really tired, try it. Maybe you'd actually have left of your tent. You'll find someone who would take this accursed funfair. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I assume we're going to save because there's a give up option. <laughs> oh, I was, I was, uh, lowering the, 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 the thing because it was giving me a headache. Really? Yeah, we did that line. Maybe you're right. I'm committed to giving up narrator. Fuck effort. You sounded exactly like Eno be right then. <laughs> You aren't fit to forge a way from society, Nokia. I fuck this. They grow outside, right? Would you even recognize a turnip field? The, they don't grow on trees? Aren't they a fruit? My god, you clearly don't even know what a turnip is. This is a lot of pressure. I thought being a hermit was meant to be relaxing. Have you ever met a well-adjusted hermit? 
I've never met a hermit, period! That's the fucking point! Look, yeah, you can't just... <laughs> I gave myself a headache doing that. <laughs> Somebody clip that. <laughs> was that one of you? Nope. I was in the game. Mike yeah, no, yeah, no, that, that, was, that was the game. I had myself muted. <laughs> <laughs> the walls of the, the whales of the town. Are we in hell? Oh, God. Oh, you just la you laid your eggs. Oh, God, no. Huh? How about that? Eggs. I guess you just left it too long. That or they let the tent fumes overwhelm my egg laying response. Yes. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Not here. Anywhere but here. So, wait, am, am I a parent now? No, I, love, the hatch. I love how the different, like, uh, colors they use for the, the options and shit. It kind of reminds me of Vampire the Masquerade. In the Bloodlines games, like, if you, you know, certain dialogue options would be in, like, a blue or, or purple point, depending on, like, if it was a charm or a spell you were casting. <laughs> well, your shell time bombs do have to hatch first, I guess. Do you think you have it in you to look after the I did not okay, click that, by the way. To, uh, something else on you. Yeah, the game did that one to you on its own. Nice. Do bats make nectar? And if so, what does it taste like? Okay, I have to oh. stop doing that voice, guys. Ah, uh, oh, yes. Bat milk and cookies for everyone. Anybody remember that? Scooby-Doo? No? Just me? Okay. How about? I remember Scooby Snacks were weed brownies. Yeah, it was yeah. just... Uh, Bad, when they team up with Batman, they go back to the bad cave. He says, "Bat milk and cookies for him." Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, that was the uh, the seventies one where they were teaming up with everybody. Yep, the Globe Trotters as well for some. Yeah, reason. it was the Globe Trotters. There was uh, there was Costello. Batman and Robin. There's the Three Stooges. Didn't they also yeah. do one with Abbott and Costello? Uh, yeah. No, I think it, uh, no, I think no, it was Laurel and Hardy. Okay. And in in some of the newer ones, like yeah, I'm sorry for those that are mad the... doing this voice. I have to actually close up my vocal, like my breathing tube for it. So it gets very hard to do it for long. Okay, fine, whatever Stan is done. Your ex has been laying and you were still, you're still sat to you. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Yeah, you see <laughs> my become... issue? I didn't have a problem with it, it's just like the narrator. So really, yeah, you no, ask the narrator is so, yeah. normal. Yeah. You have overcome nearly a trial, near, nearly a trial, and dodged all possible casual development at all costs. You proud of yourself? Yes. Maybe. You are repugnant. I've never claimed otherwise, yes. Great. Guess you're just thrilled at how things have turned out then. Actually, I'm not sure if I am. Wait, really? And why the heck is that? That sort of devious, nonsensical behavior seems right up your alley. By alley, he means bum. I guess something's missing. So, something's wrong. So, okay, something's wrong. Am I pregnant again? You just gave birth, so don't very much doubt that. Cats can be impregnated twice at once, so what's your point? What? Yes, but I find that cats tend to give birth to the young all in one go instead of attacking and keeping a few kids in the womb to shoot their gut later <laughs> on with discretion. Not unlike a shrewd feline trip, you say. <laughs> it's raised. <laughs> Who yeah, the Laura. fuck wrote this and I need to know what drug they're on? That's why I love doing this because sometimes I never expect I would be say words like fetrid feline trip, you say. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Uh, besides, you definitely didn't have any more space in that swollen gut of yours for more eggs than you've just laid. Right. Laid. Hmm. Red. Bread. Well, what do you think I lack? Purpose. Admit. Definitely. Admit. Sheer will. John is a man of great purpose, commitment, sheer will. <laughs> you had one goal, and since you achieved it too, so quickly and without any of all its character development, you haven't had the time to think of a next goal to hurl your limp green bot at. 
So, you're in motivation limbo. Is that what a midlife crisis feels like? Well, if it was, your kids would be a louder and, tra and trying to follow carpet tax, and your disgruntled wife would be asking if you for you to explain the scratched and scratch cards filling at backseat of your car. Otherwise, though, sure. Damn it. You say I'm gonna get some more. I'm gonna get some I need some per pros. Purpose. Per, pro, 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 propane. P propane. Whoa. Whoa. Go outside. Oh, okay. They're gonna also, make us do a full let's play. Propane well. accessories. God damn it, Bobby. Bench. Tell me, dear narrator, is bench a purpose? Only for very special kinds of freaks, Nokia. Trust me, no purpose at all is better than having your purpose in life be bench. Rats, I was so close to. Damn. Why bench think fish. this purpose thing might just end up coming to me? What? No, oh, that's an awful idea. You need to go out and explore the world, talk to folks, seek new experiences, overcome trials, and... Dismissed! Oh, universe, hear my prayer. Your ever-expanding bowel of cosmic hogwash. I demand a sign. Oh, like anything's gonna happen just because you... <laughs> Mike gets to be Randy. Randy! And is it all... Randy! Look at this. Look at the top. Oh, he's a Nokia! It I was says, about to say, I think says, I, I think I have this phone some somewhere in my own in my office. Fuck force on it, that? It, no, it says fuck face. Oh god. I think I have that exact model somewhere in my in my in my Give office me one somewhere, quick like a, like an like an old like old shelf or like an old drawer or something. I think I have that exact model for fucking yeah. not yet. Because you know, in case you ever need a hammer, you know. Are you having a heart attack? D do you need impromptu open heart surgery? I can do that. I'm totally inexperienced, but I'll attempt just about any major surgery for three dollars. But only if you pay me beforehand, because uh, your surgical odds are not all that good with me at the helm. Oh my god, I hate that I'm getting into this. Indeed. If I was having a heart attack, you could dial 911 on your phone head. If you were so much as touch me with the scalpel, I swear. I mean, I could if they hadn't blocked my number due to repeated misuse. Oh, you're Jessica Yaniv. <laughs> Anyone in the Turns chat out a nervous. broken heart is very different from a heart attack, medically speaking. So... <clears throat> so, you can't fix a broken heart? Unfortunately not, no. No. So, uh, yeah. My name is Randy! Kind of like if the soft underbelly of a turtle was a person, sort of. Swag! Thank you, Randall. Ahem! <clears throat> God, I'm so Randy. this voice. Randy! Wait, is that what? what is Randy actually short for Randall? I have no idea. What has you bench gazing, my scary green friend? Are you looking for purpose? How did you know? I, oh, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't blow you guys out. I can read minds. First thing I tried to didn't work. I, I learned the hard way that benches are not an adequate thing to center your entire life around unless you're a drunk carpenter or own a local furniture shop. Otherwise, you're just a bench enth enthusiast with a nectar problem. So what's your purpose then? It'd be a joke. Well, right now I'm at work. Then one day I get to die. <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? <laughs> God. 
that? Hey, Mike, that's your entire life right there. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Sounds marvelous. Expect for the working part. Oh, except for the working part. What else do people use to occupy their time slash energy constructively? <sighs> well, you see, most people also, uh... Well, they aim for nice stuff like love, you know? Human connection. But we phone. I'm green. Oh, right. That doesn't seem easy at all. Do you have a love? Yeah, I mean, I guess. What happened to the poor guy? This I'm guessing this is one of the devs, but I want to know if his hands are okay. How do you find them? Were they on a bench? No, oh, damn it, you jackass. No, 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 damn it. I crafted my girlfriend out of trash. There are so many jokes right now I can make. But you're both horribly single. Indeed. Everybody in the chat, there's your girlfriend right there. Tell me more, esteemed bandaged weirdo. See, first you mine and then you craft. Yeah, I was ha God damn it. Go in the goddamn yeah. corner. Yeah, I was having trouble finding a mate too. Let me go turn off my uh, light. Yeah, you got you're soaking wet all over my bed. Thank you, dog. Where did I put my controller? I guess my intense masculine energy was intimidating potential partners. Impossible, but go on. So I meticulously crafted a body pillow out of literal garbage. <laughs> Is this what hobos do? No, this is just what Otaku do. Every night I fall asleep clutching my makeshift partner and weep inconsolably. No, this is what Reddit users do. Yeah. And this is a normal thing that people do? Of course it is! Would I ever mislead you knowingly or accidentally? Hmm. I guess not. Wow, you're gullible. Could, could I do this? No, you don't have the talent. Absolutely. All you need is trash. So, I put you in garbage bag? No. Trash. You? Anyway, I uh, gotta go wrangle a hostile pond avian uh, before it wrangles me. Ciao. Chat, I'm glad you guys are into this. That's you, Mocha. I thought the narrator wasn't here anymore. No, he's back. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that man was extremely poorly adjusted. Please do not take any word of his advice seriously. I have absorbed each and every word of his advice. Oh, phone goddammit. <laughs> Love. This isn't right, Nokia. This isn't true, love. Like manipulating somebody to pay into a local fun fair, circus, or carnival. This is unnatural. I am unnatural. E.T. want phone. There's power no mortal. This is power no mortal should ever dream of wielding. Shut! I just need to figure out who to model my love around. If, if you pick Randy, I'm checking out. No, no. I need someone who is principled. Uh-huh. Someone who would never leave me. Right. Someone who believes in me and believes I can be better. Sounds promising. Do you know such a person? Yeah! It's you! What? No, I, I, I don't believe in you. Not even slightly. 
just an incredible voice that's not, that only you can hear. Pick Randy. He's objectively a much. I have chosen! So, what are you gonna make a body pillow out of me then? How will that even work? We really make it lacking a physical form to depict on the pillow. Hmm. No way. I've got it! Oh no. Behold, suck! You're the is narrator. It's an, yeah, but it's just a narrator. Yeah, suck, I so, think so. I guess. Okay. So, you're dating a suck puppet now. Yes, and the sock is you. You have been given a physical form. This is really sad. Well, do you have any better ideas, Saki? Yes, and I have shared several of them with you. By the way, you can buy body pillows right now on our shop. I'm not even kidding. Very true. I say we should follow Ticket Jerry's advice. That guy seemed well adjusted. It just make you don't get dialogue. Okay. I have boarded the Jerry train. Choo choo, motherfucker! It's just fucking crazy. Fine then. What was Jerry's description of true love again? He said people in love go to the movies together. We should do that. I love how they just like kind of surf rock midi in the background. How's that gonna work? You literally don't have a single dime to your name. Regardless, scene transition. Well, how weird, you're some omnipotent goblin god right now. Oh no, dude, I already got high for this chat. Hey, <laughs> pal, my name's Oliver! He's got a little fez on, look at that. Is that a sock puppet? This is no ordinary sock puppet, dear Oliver. This is my boyfriend. I mean, uh, well, partner. What gender do you assign to a disembodied voice anyway? That's, uh... Buy popcorn. What was? Are you talking to the song right now, or me? I want popcorn. Wow, you can't even really eat it! Physical form, bitch! <laughs> this is such a fucking shit pose, I love it. Popcorn! I'm actually impressed they got it on, on uh, Steam. Oh, well, alright, I mean, alright. I mean, they got fucker in the ass of Steam. Any anything goes, mate. Oliver, may I have some popcorn for my beautiful slash handsome sock partner, please? Uh, sure, alright! This is weird while I dig it, I guess! You know what the worst part is about Oliver is that I have the exact same flannel shirt. <laughs> Here, that'll be 1995, please! It actually would be, too. Would you accept hey, hey, three let's bottle get some caps? Crazy taxi! Here would we you... go! Would you accept three bottle caps and a rusty spoon instead? I think they're fairly equivalent in value. I mean, in this economy, definitely. Pop it on. How about... No, I cannot do that. Ah, oh, rats. Fuck, this is dreadful. You're totally... Cryptid penis. Why? Mike, did you write yeah. this? Yes, we can't say cock, can we? You're totally cryptid oh. penis blocking me right now, Oliver. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry. I did not write this, by the way. Okay, how about this? I love the fucking surf music. <laughs> I led you into the cinema to make out with your awful sock partner, and if you're in and out in ten minutes. And stay out of the direct line of sight of the CCTV cameras, preferably. Sure, but we might take more than 10 minutes, dearest Oliver. No, 
Oh, no. What if we get frisky? He just fucked into my groovy officer and uh, prompted the butt, thank you! Seen sensation. Oh my. See you, Minute Man, thank you. Oh, oh Ollie was God. in the background right there. He's there. <laughs> One nectar lit. What the hell? Acid. Hey, do you really need to guzzle so much nectar on the way here? Yes. Can I at least have some? No. Are you planning to acknowledge, to acknowledge the dodo? No. What are we doing here of all places anyway? You want to feel love, don't you? Not this kind of love. I feel like right now you can feel colors. I can. Ticket Jerry said couples make joint bank accounts together. This is the final step we need to achieve true love. Yeah, I mean, I've also been off my rocket a few times I've been in the bank meeting. So okay, out. Mike gets to be the printer. Okay, so hang on a sec. Karen is the printer. Um, yep. Hello, esteemed customer of Oz. My name is Karen. How may it be? I, 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 uh, service, whatever. Fuck you. I want to speak to a manager. Karen, you what? are the manager. Okay, nope, nope. I, I'm, I'm not asking any questions. This is weird. Other than why there's a dodo in here, right? Shut up, dodo. Nope, not acknowledging that. Let's just get this over with. Are you looking to open an account or... Yes, Karen, a joint bank account, please. With the dodo? All right, well, um, to create a joint bank account... You'll need, you'll need a couple ounces of weed. You'll need a co-signing. co, -sign co -sign me I thought that was pronounced congee. co sign e A joint bank account is for two people, so I need to know who the second person is in order to create your new account. No. Oh. Um. It can't be a sandwich. Damn it! Can it be a dodo? No. I swear, if you tell me the cons cosignee is the sock... I am so sorry, Karma. I'll try to talk them out of... We're in love, Karma! My name is... You don't understand! My name is... Society doesn't understand us! I love how the music is getting even more corrupted the farther we go. That's you, Moko. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just getting brain melted by the music right now. <laughs> Can you me a paper clip from Karen's desk, please? This isn't the time, sock lover. I want to feel the physical sensation. <laughs> Don't deprive me of that. Karen, can I at least have a paperclip from your desk? For what? To clip the part of your brain that has evidently fallen off back on? Nah, my sock lover wants to eat one of your paperclips. Oh, don't give me that look. It was the sock's idea, not mine. Security! We've got another sock puppet enthusiast! Does this happen often? All too often, unfortunately. It's a bad part of town. Okay, friend, what can you look at me for a year? Okay, friend, can you look right at me for just a moment? I'm Why? The so, the nice fellow behind me can whack you over the head with a frying pan. I was supposed to say, wait, what? But... <laughs> so I mean, that entire last scene, I was like, like, it'd be ready dropping acid and listening to, like, Hocus Pocus with focus. Well, this is... Oh. 
Narrator? Uh -huh. He's dead, Jim. Narrator. I'm gonna say something stupid. Now would be a fantastic time to chi to chide me. Where'd the music go? It was all a figment of your imagination. <laughs> he finally sobered up. Well, this isn't ideal at all. What the fuck, really? A madhouse? Hey, fuck. I thought Randy said that in inanimate lovers were... Oh, fuck. Oh. oh, hey, Randy. They catch you with the body pillow? I proposed to a swan. Did it say yes? Tragic. Say, where'd the music go? Could, could you hear music this entire time? Yeah, you had a theme song and everything. Was it cool? Kinda. It had a sort of tropical, cheap holiday vibe on it to it. Isn't there just always music playing? Boy, I sure do love saying wacky shit in a padded cell. Aww. Hello, narrator? Aw, to hell with this, Randy. If I write you a script, can you talk back to me? Oh. Oh. The end. The ending where you date a sock and are thus removed from the civilized society. <laughs> so that's... I think we'll do more of this another time, but... Crash the game, yes. Okay. Definitely interesting. Yeah, it looks like uh, there's that, multiple that endings. That was an amazing shit post, holy shit. So yeah, we may come back to that one.